My name is Burak Aktaş and today in our writing lessons lesson we are going to be taking a look at the uh, subject classification essay. Okay, we are going to take a look at how are we writing a classification essay and what is classification essay and uh, how does it function actually. So for, let's first us uh, uh, let's for, uh, start by asking the question: What is a classification essay? In a classification essay, we organize things into categories and give examples of things that fit into each category. Okay? Uh, for example, if you choose to write about types of computers, PCs and servers, each of your developmental, uh, developmental paragraphs will define the characteristics of a different comp uh, computer type. Okay? So, as you can see, the word category is crucial here. Okay, uh, so because uh, we are going to be what? Uh, organizing things, right? And we are going to be uh, putting them into categories. For example, uh, school, you have the word, uh, you have the uh, notion school, okay? But what types of school? What category of schools are there? So we are going to be thinking about this, okay? Or uh, what, for example, PC is here, right? We have uh, desktop PCs, laptop PCs, workstations, right? Something like this. So, and we are going to be giving what? Giving uh, examples of things that fit into each category, right? So good. And we are going to be talking about the characteristics, features here. But how? Now, let's move on. So, what do we do? In a classification essay, you divide a topic into three classes based on an aspect, okay? First, you need to have an aspect, okay? First, you need to have an aspect of what, of what are you, what, in which point are you looking at this subject, actually, okay? So, uh, and you need to divide. The word divide is also crucial here. Divide a topic into three classes, right? Three different classes. You have to give information about the three classes in the same order and importance. You have to follow a certain pattern, right? You're going to be talking about three different things. So, it needs to be in an orderly fashion. You need to, like, uh, you need to say first, second, uh, finally, third, right? Something like this. You need to avoid irrelevant, irrelevant and conflicting ideas and information. Oh, yes. Uh, please do this in your whole writings. Good. It, it is optional to give, out, give ideas about each category, but they have to be relevant and suitable to the general pat pattern. So, uh, as you, uh, so you, can, you can bring your own ideas, but please don't get off topic or get uh, far away from the topic. Okay? Don't get lost there. So, first, what is the first step of writing a, writing a good classification uh, essay? First, brainstorm and find details, okay? Today, we are going to be uh, talking about uh, countries, okay? We are going to take a look at a classification essay, including the different, uh, different types of countries, different categories of countries. So, uh, think about the topic below and cross out the irrelevant class. Write down as many as information about each class as possible, then cross out the irrelevant information. Okay, so when you first think about this subject and the aspect you're going to be looking at, all right, you just need to think and write down things, right? Like countries. If you are, if you are being asked to write about a classification essay about countries, what do you need to do first? First, you need to take take down notes, right? Uh, what do you think of about countries, right? So, like uh, here, we are looking at the economical aspect, actually, right? Under developed countries, developing countries or developed countries, right? Uh, so, under developed countries, what are what can you think about them? High rate of poverty, limited resources, right? These are the certain aspects you can talk about. Like the points you can mention, actually. De uh, developing countries, moderately rich and moderately poor, low industri uh, industrialization and low human development. So, as we have mentioned before, you are going to be giving examples in your essays. So you need to further, further support your ideas. And this is going to be the points you are going to be talking about, alright? Good. Uh, so, 
Again, the second step is outline your essay according to the essay structure, thesis statement. Introduce your topic with a good thesis statement, right? You, you all know this by, uh, by now. A good, a strong thesis statement is the necessary key point to each essay, actually, right? So here also, your thesis statement should include topic. Like today, for example, we are going to be talking about countries and three categories, for example, under developed countries, developing countries and developed countries, right? The pattern is optional, it says, good. So, again, first of all, what sort of, uh, what sort of a starting sentence can you uh, create? Here, some examples. There are three types, classes, kinds, categories of countries, which are, or such as, underdeveloped, developing and developed in terms of their economic knowledge. So, there are three types, classes, kinds, categories of something. This is your main idea, right? The main uh, thing you want to refer. The main your thing you're going to categorize, actually. So, and you're uh, giving me the uh, order of this, uh, order of this division, okay? Good. Countries can be classified or divided into, right? This is good. Uh, this is a good way to start your uh, introduction paragraph, actually. Three types, which are such as underdeveloped, developing or developed countries according to their economic conditions, right? So, can be cl classified, divided into. These are good signifier words for this, okay? Uh, if you don't include this kind of words, you're not making classification at all, actually, all right? We can classify, categorize countries as, uh, classify as, categorize as. This is also a good usage of English here, all right? Categorize countries as underdeveloped, developing and developed countries according to their economic conditions, right? Then you're going to talk about what first, uh, you're going to talk about what underdeveloped uh, countries, then developing countries and developed countries. Good. Uh, again, in your, uh, we have looked at this thesis statement uh, to uh, vocabulary to use in your thesis statement. And in our body paragraphs, in our body paragraphs, please introduce your categories with clear topic sentences. You can use transitional signals at the beginning of each paragraph to make it more fluent. What's transi transitional signals? Like first, second, then, right? Something like this. The first, for example, the first category of countries is called underdeveloped countries, right? In your body paragraph, you're, you have started to uh, work out your way to write your, uh, write your classification essay, right? So uh, you're doing this, actually. The first category of countries, all right? What is called underdeveloped countries? Or an, an alternative way is what? First, first, right? First, countries can be classified as blah, blah, then move on from there. One type of country is underdeveloped countries, right? Or, so you made your uh, first case, right? You talked about, you gave me the examples and you, get, uh, you talked about your point here, you gave me the information about underdeveloped countries, and you say what? The second. The second category is developing countries, or secondly, there are developing countries. Uh, another type of country, right? Another type, one type, you, because you mentioned one type, then you can say another type of country is developing countries. The last, third, final category is developed countries, right? This is your last idea. So first one, second one, and third one. So you arrived at your last idea, you're going to discuss. So you say the last, third, final category is developed countries, or there are also developed countries, right? Then you move on to give me more information about this. The other type of country is developed countries. So good. Uh, in our conclusion paragraph, let's again take a look at this part. The conclusion paragraph of, uh, of your essay includes three parts. First, you should re rewrite your thesis statement. Right? So, uh, again, what you talked about as a conclusion, right? Uh, there are blah, blah uh, categories of countries, something like this. Then you're going to repeat yourself here. Or, in conclusion, uh, as a consequence, all in all, 
please use this in your uh, conclusion paragraph. Then you should rewrite your topic sentences or summarize each category in only three sentences is also good advice. Uh, last, you should give your opinion about the topic, final thought, right? You write about your topic and you gave me your thought about this, okay? This is a healthy way to finish your essay about uh, category, uh, essay about classification essay, right? Good. Which category is your favorite? important to, for you and why right good what can be done about this subject right you, yeah you're you're talking about a certain problem and you categorize that problem and this is maybe you have a opinion to bring about a solution to this you may mention this here right good what is your prediction about this subject also and uh, this is also about your opinion uh, so you can uh, you can talk about your opinion what with this vocabulary here? What I believe is that. What I believe about it. When it comes to my opinion, good. I think, right? I think, in my opinion, from my point of view, these are good vocabulary to talk about. So good. The classification of countries. Here is uh, our, uh, today's, uh, today's text we are going to uh, be looking at. The classification of countries, all right? All the countries in the world have always searched ways to improve their life standards since the beginning of history. They have made discoveries about nature, invented tools to make life easier for their own citizens. Therefore, they have always been in communication with each other because every country needs another country to develop itself. So people have needed to categorize these countries according to their development levels and found that there are three types of countries according to their economic conditions. Good. This is my first paragraph here, introduction paragraph. First, this gives me about what is going to be, uh, what this person, this writer is going to discuss actually. And it gave me a general idea about this subject. Okay, it didn't uh, directly uh, go 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 into the uh, what is he, what is he going to do? But what is he going to do? He is going to talk about this bold uh, part here. There are three types of countries as according to their economic conditions. Now he's going to talk about that. The first category is developed countries. So here it's uh, he or she. Uh, uh, comes up with a different uh, pattern and first talks about developed countries. These countries have completed their development process. It defines, it explains this category, okay? The citizens of these countries have high standard of living and high rates of literacy. Also, health, education and technological infrastructures are better than other countries. Hence, birth rates and death rates are low in these countries. The best example for this type of countries are Australia, many of the EU countries, and Japan, right? Developed countries. So, it's, uh, in, in, a what, in a three or four sentence, this person has explained the, this category very clearly and talked to, gave us what examples, gave us information it expanded on the idea of developed countries. They have also categorized some countries as developing countries. These countries are both developed and underdeveloped. So they are moderately rich and moderately poor. Their economies are growing, but this process has not completed yet. That's why some people who live in these countries can suffer from poverty, shortcoming in the area of medical supply, poor Poor nutrition, uh, what, poor nutrition and source of food and water. Turkey, India, and Brazil can be some of the example for this comp, uh, core category. So, developing. What does this mean? This uh, continuous uh, tense. It's on still. It's still developing, right? So, it talked about the uh, characteristics. Remember the word from the earlier characteristics of. Uh, this category and what, what do I mean by uh, characteristics the futures okay the futures the traits they describe this category well and gave me the examples again 
Finally, right, finally, there are underdeveloped countries in the world according to this classification, right? An underdeveloped country is defined as a nation that is not as economic, economically developed as other nations. These countries are uh, poor, have very low per capita income, and in this type of countries, poverty is widespread. Very little money is spent on healthcare or education, and there is less industrial activity than developed nations. Afghanistan, Somalia, and Yemen are among countries. All right? So good. Uh, again, uh, it defined us what this country is about, uh, this uh, classification is about. Uh, an underdeveloped country is, right? Now, I have my definition, definition actually. So, in conclusion, the countries are divided into three into, in terms of development, okay? The developed and developing countries have good life standards and independent economy, whereas underdeveloped ones are relatively impoverished. In my opinion, all countries must come together for the improvement of the underdeveloped countries. So, again, what we talked about as a, uh, is done perfectly here actually. So, the writer gave us the, uh, the closing part. In conclusion, the countries are divided into three in terms of development. So, uh, this, this is the what? This is the here actually. This is the, this part rewritten again, okay? So, uh, and what happens? The developed and developing countries have good life standards and independent economy, whereas, whereas, right, on the other hand, underdeveloped ones are relatively impoverished. So, it, made, it makes the comparison. It generalizes what he discussed so far, okay? What he discussed so far, or she. In my opinion, all countries must come together for the improvement of the underdeveloped countries. So it, this, uh, this essay, what ends with an opinion about this subject actually, what he wrote, what he written so far, okay? So uh, this is the conclusion part of our lesson together and I wish you a good day. Uh, take care.